Well guys, this is what I was getting into this whole week. And I was running into one issue after the next. And these are my final parts. Alrighty folks, back here working on the room. And we're gonna start working on fixing the floor. Oh. So we got pretty well everything, wall stuff painted, fixtures. We might install a new ceiling fan sometime. So over there, you can see where I marked. Um, that's where I'm gonna cut out and I'm just gonna patch it in. And then we decided since we have enough paint left, it'd be nice to put a coat of paint on the floor. So put a coat of paint on the floor underneath our new flooring and then this room will be perfect. So I had to go around and patch a bunch of holes and stuff. And there was areas that, um, so it was mostly just where wires had been poked through for like cable and stuff like that. What do you say? Hmm. What do you say, Smokey? Is is a drill, huh? Look, <laughs> spinny, spinny. Anyways, in the closet, you know, there was a lot of areas that I had to patch, um, and then on the wall here, I had to sand my paint off and then sand down a spot that was drywall mudded and was not smoothed off. So I had to redo that area. Um, so yeah, it's looking a lot better. I had to replace this because the other one was broken and luckily I had another one. We might put new outlets and covers in. Might not. Looks good just the way it is. But anyways, I'm going to get to uh, fixing this floor, see if we can't fix the creaking and then we're going to go over here and we're going to start sniding away on the floor with my battery operated Snyder. Hey, was it? Hmm? <laughs> you are you hanging out? Hmm? We're hanging out buddies. She kind of follows me wherever I go and she seems to find a lot of curiosity what's going on in this room. Um, her. I get to work.
Alrighty, folks. It's Tuesday, uh, January 31st. Um, so, yeah. Got that cut out and uh, got the measurement. I'm going to cut me a piece and put it back in there. So, then the floor is going to be fixed and ready to put flooring down. But... Before I put the flooring down, I'm going to um, paint the trim that's left on the walls and stuff. I'm going to paint that white and then I'm going to paint all my other trim, just paint it all white, ready to go. And then I'm going to put the flooring in. So the flooring is going to be in a different video. Yeah, it's not going to be that much on here. Um, had to do some stuff on the truck get that thing ready to travel and because over the weekend we had to uh, travel and it worked out so didn't get much done last week on the room but this week we're gonna hit it pretty hard uh, we just got home yesterday from traveling so and like I said before it's Tuesday we're gonna get to cutting we're going to get to screwing, and then we're going to get to painting, and then we're going to get to getting out of here. So, so I had to cut the edge off because it's got that groove in there and nail holes, and we don't want that. We don't want to replace uh, a junk part of the floor with another junk floor. So, <laughs> you know, if there's something like this on a corner somewhere, you know, I can chip that off and fill that in with caulk or drywall mud or whatever. And then the flooring is going to, the other flooring is going to go right on top, but it can't be all buggered and chipped uh, all along the edge because it would be a little bit harder to lay the flooring. So now we're going to get to cutting the real stuff. Now we're going to go see if it fits. So what I'm going to do here is here and there it kind of um, meets up nice, then other spots it doesn't meet up as nice. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand the edges down all down through there and then put caulk or putty in there to kind of transition it into this floor. That way when I put my other flooring, I could probably lay my other flooring right on top just the way it is and not have any issues. But I want to transition it as nice as I can just so uh, cause less problems for me when I'm laying the flooring. So, Because I want the flooring to be able to get laid in here fairly smooth and quickly. So... Yipper. 
Hey, what's up? What's up, puppy dog? Hmm? Really good puppy dog. Are you eating stuff you shouldn't? Hmm? Are you eating stuff you shouldn't? <laughs> Good girl. Alrighty, I got it all blended in. And then I caught the edge. Um, so yeah, didn't get done what I wanted to, but well, I did get done what I wanted to, just not uh, painting the trim and stuff. But that'll have to wait till tomorrow because at least the floor is ready to go. Um, I guess one thing we have to do is caulk the edges and paint the floor yet. Um, since we have a lot of excess paint, I was going to just put a coat of paint on the floor. It's going to be blue, but hey, it'll get covered up by the flooring and it'll give the this floor a nice, fresh, um covering so i think that's going to work out pretty pretty good and that's what we're going to go with we'll see you tomorrow all right folks it's wednesday we're going to do some more work on the roof i went and got a bunch of caulk in these bags right there um and I'm gonna caulk all on the edge of the wall. Instead of caulking my trim, I'm gonna just caulk the gaps. Um, so right here in between here, I'm not gonna caulk that because there's uh, plastic around there. And when I took this away, I didn't see any bugs. And I think if I lay my trim flat, I'll be fine. Um, you know, I'll probably caulk little little areas like that and then all the way around the room I'm gonna caulk the edge and then little dips and stuff here and there that are along the edge and then last night you guys saw me put this in and I leveled got that all blended in and yeah you probably this is probably not how you patch floors but I've never patched floors before and that's how I'm doing it so if you don't like it, there's nothing you can do about it because I, I already did it and flooring is going to go over top. So that's that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got to clean up, get the sweeper, sweep everything and then uh, get to caulking. Show you these deer out there. You probably can't see it. You can see the little dots on the hill there. There's three of them. Haven't seen deer out there for a long time. These cold weather's getting them on their feet. Man, check out that view. Minus the road. If you go to about right there, and you can see the the light right there. You can ignore that and my hand and that is one nice view out the bedroom window. <whistles> Gonna get to work.
Alrighty, we got all the caulk done. If you can see all along the edge, the white, I kind of put some up on the wall there. There was some dips and stuff. Figured I might as well cover that. All the way around through there. Peace. All the way around there. The door. And then I got all the windows taped off and ready to paint. Blend, I blended that in a little better. I had a wider putty knife thing and I was able to get it way better. And it should be a nice smooth transition right into there. I did get done what I wanted to. Clean, it'll, and then if I leave the clock overnight, the floor will be ready to go uh, tomorrow when I get home from work. So, this weekend, I'll probably be putting quite a bit of flooring in. So I'll probably put the flooring in and then paint on my trim. That'll be another video. I know I didn't get much done in this video, but that's gonna be it for this week. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. If you so choose. If not, totally up to you. But anyways, I really appreciate all of, all of you that have subscribed so far. Um, I do love, or I yeah, love and enjoy bringing these videos to you guys, making them, putting them together which making them and putting them together is the same thing. But I love doing this. Um, since it's stuff I'm doing anyways, I figured, hey, I like making videos. I might as well video everything. Put it on here. And hopefully you guys enjoy all these videos. I know some of them are not as fun as others, but it's what I enjoy doing. So I put them on here. I keep repeating myself. Anyways, appreciate y'all. Hope you all, uh, all the success in the world. Um, hope you guys have a really good and awesome weekend. That's it. We'll see you right back here next week for another video. Hopefully we can get more done Hopefully we can get the floor in and the trim on and things completed. If not, we'll find out. But anyways, peace out guys. My very first air compressor. See, it says air compressor, my very first air compressor. It's pretty tiny, but it should do the job. Had a lot of good reviews. I guess that's on. But I guess, nice and quiet. It fills up pretty fast because it's a nine, uh, one gallon, so it doesn't take much to fill it up. Stopped right at 120.